it is never that serious for me to be paying for a blue check mark. I am not about to pay for that. Now everybody about to be verified. Yeah. So if you're here, I know you heard about it all through these Instagram and Facebook streets. You can now be verified if you are willing to pay that monthly fee of $14.99. And I don't know why this is sending so many people in like a frenzy. Like, why are you guys so angry at the fact that people can now purchase verification? It's literally only that. It's verification. You're only authenticating your account. So... So while everybody's hooting and hollering that is lame and if you're buying a verification, you are like this reject from high school who wants to live this life of validation now, I think it still has its benefits for a lot of people. And especially for business owners, influencers, and content creators, like why wouldn't you want to authenticate your account? Maybe I just don't see anything wrong with it because I am an inspiring content creator. So I eventually, if the opportunity doesn't present itself to me the old fashioned way, I'm probably going to pay for it once I start receiving money from social media. But yeah, I don't see anything wrong with it at all. I think it's just a huge ick for me when like people collectively get online and just hate something that doesn't really even concern us doesn't really call for our energy like what does it matter if somebody wants to validate that their account is theirs like there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and if somebody has an extra $15 to front towards validating their account more power to them I probably would have to get rid of Netflix first but yeah nothing wrong with that why are we pocket watching so this video is not of much importance, but I just want to say what I feel like is the purpose of a blue check, what it would be, the purpose to me would be, like what would make me go ahead and pay for it. I feel like the first purpose and most important purpose is that it would let people know that you are a real person, that your account has went through whatever minimum requirements needed to be verified. So if your account says first name, last name, and there's a check mark, that means that they validated your state issued ID or license or whatever identification you gave and you're a legitimate account. And I feel like that builds trust between whatever audience you may have. There's nothing wrong with that. And on the business side of things, which tie into basically my first point, it builds trust. People will know that you are in an actual account and if they're communicating with it, they are communicating with an account that actually has something to do with you. Granted, I think they're only validating like Instagram accounts to have the exact name that's on the ID, but I'm sure they'll get to that point too. I'm sure they'll extend it and on top of that i feel like it could help reduce the potential for scams how many times do we see fake accounts perpetrating realtors influencers business owners and they're getting some people to give over their money so those are a few of the things i feel like could be the beneficial purpose of a blue check and I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel right being a part of the hate train. If somebody chooses to spend their $15 on verifying their account, more power to them. I don't understand why that triggers everybody. I have no idea why. But since I'm here, I might as well tell you guys, if you are interested, there are some requirements that you should look into. You know, you can extend it and it'll give you everything you need to know about it. But there are some minimum requirements. The first requirement is your account name needs to be associated with the full name that is on your form of identification that you submit. So... I'm sorry, Nike Girl 365, you cannot verify your account because it will not align with your state issued ID or whatever you use to submit. 
And you're also going to need a profile picture that is you in the account. So I wouldn't get approved because I have Buttercup as my icon, which I need to change. But yeah, it has to be a profile picture of yourself. And I'm not sure on how specific they are getting with the posting history, but you have to have a history of posting to that page. So you, I'm assuming you can't just create a page with no content on it and validate it right away. And then also that name on your profile, not the username, that is also going to have to be your name that is associated with what is on the form of identification you submit. And lastly, you know how I go with all of these platforms, you have to meet the terms of use. So, you know, you can't be in bad standing and still think you're going to be able to verify your account. So, all those crap posters and the trolls and stuff like that you know the people who get the warnings on their accounts i don't think you would be able to do it until like you know there's one thing to note if you do get verified choose to go through with it or if it came to you the old-fashioned way you will not be able to change your profile picture your username or your profile name if you do you will have to go through the entire verification process again but you know that was just me coming through because i'm like it's not that serious leave them people alone if these people want to verify their accounts more power to them if they got 15 dollars to spare that's them i don't understand why this is sending everybody up let these people do it it's their money but I just want to give my two cents and you know I just want to get in the camera for something for some reason I'm trying to get back into it so guys if you haven't already can you please subscribe to my channel don't forget to like and comment because I just told y'all to subscribe so I'll catch y'all in the next one